Hello, my name is Matt Russell. I'm an FX Power Course instructor here at FXCM. I want to welcome everybody to the daily FX walkthrough. We're going to get started in just a moment. What I'm going to do tonight, I'm going to walk through the latest technical report by Jamie Setley. So if you give me one moment here, I'm going to go ahead and bring up dailyfx.com. And usually the first thing I do when I get there is bring up Jamie's report. And let's see what he has to say uh, in terms of the synopsis. I'll slide this over just a little bit. Uh, underlying sentiment along with technical considerations favor dollar strength from here. Risk is clearly defined. So that dollar strength would mean uh, euro dollar decline. So let's see what he has to say specifically about the euro. Uh, it is wise to abandon the bullish bias at this point. What I thought was a fourth wave is taking too long. Although price has yet to slip below uh, the parallel Elliott channel, it should soon. So uh, if you remember yesterday, let, let's go back to uh, the chart that we were viewing yesterday and reference the channel line that Jamie uh, was talking about and that we were using. And we can go ahead and connect uh, these two highs, draw the parallel line, and bring this down. And we can see that this line actually does seem to be acting uh, as at least uh, some form of temporary support. There was a slight dip beneath it, not a very uh, clean uh, movement here or a clean uh, act of support. But we can see that, that it is acting as a little bit of support, but Jamie is, again, calling for prices uh, to, fa to fail at the support line and move beneath it. So moving forward uh, through tonight, uh, and tomorrow, uh, I would keep an eye on this line, on this blue line right here. That's a lower channel line as a reference point. Personally, um, I would say I'd maintain a, a slight bullish bias right here um, until prices do close back beneath the channel line. But we can see clearly that the channel line uh, did act as support. And channel lines are, are one of my favorite technical tools, uh, only because many traders incorrectly uh, apply them. And it's my firm belief uh, that many technical traders out there who have a lot of money at their disposal uh, do use channel lines. And that's why you'll often see bounces at a channel line. Another interesting point, and this often comes up in, in trading, is a certain technical level, such as this channel line right here, might initially act as support. Um, and let's say we, we might get let's squeeze another 20, 30 pips out of the rally off the support line, and then we might have a failure back beneath it. But at the very least, that could be maybe a, a shorter term scalping trade uh, in terms of how to utilize the support line. It doesn't mean that prices are going to hold that support line forever by any means, uh, but we can see the value of technical analysis and the value of using Jamie's reports as he did give a relevant price level here, and we are getting some sort of support. Uh, but again, uh, to recap, uh, Jamie feels that the fourth wave is taking too long and that there should be a move uh, back beneath the channel line. Uh, I, on the other hand, would, would maintain that slightly uh, bullish bias until we do have a, a clear close beneath the channel line. Again, my name is Matt Russell. I'm an FX Power Course instructor here at FXCM. Thanks for listening.